Hey everybody, it's Brandon again with another Chrome OS Flex update. My uh, Asus laptop with Chrome OS Flex just got updated to a version 101 point something. And um, I noticed right off the bat that there's a new boot up screen on Chrome OS Flex. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now, which is why I'm recording from the phone here. Check it out. All right, let's start this thing up. Anyway, it actually says Chrome OS Flex now instead of Chrome OS. It's now a black background instead of a uh, bright white one. All right, so now I'm going to hop on to the Chromebook itself and uh, see if we can find anything else that's changed with this update. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we are on the device itself. I'm going to uh, pull up settings here. We're just going to take a look at what version this actually is. This is 101.0.4937.0. And um, if I find it impossible to find actual legit release notes on Chrome OS. Um, the what's new doesn't tell you anything, but I went to additional details, build details, hopefully to find build details, and that gives me this. So I search for Chrome OS. I searched for change log, couldn't find anything. Chrome OS release notes. I got a uh, blog post here, dev channel update for Chrome OS, just telling you that it's updated, but it doesn't really tell you <laughs> anything that they've done. One thing I noticed though, the um, a video I did just a couple days ago about a new notification system, it seems to be disabled since I updated this. And uh, I went to the flags and I couldn't find how to turn it back on. So they might have taken it out of Chrome OS Flex. Or maybe they're working on it. I don't know. Another thing is before I did the update, I had the uh, dark mode turned on. That's not where I was going. And the toggle for that is gone now too. And it is still in the flags. I, I can't turn it on without disabling it. But I'm wondering if this new update isn't changing some of the things, making some of those flags not work. Uh, which I expect will be resolved as more updates come along. Other than that, though, I've looked around and everything else seems pretty similar. I think the new uh, boot-up screen is probably the biggest change. Um, there could be better hardware support in this one, for all I know. Like I said, I couldn't find any release notes. I know the um, the micro SD card in this laptop still doesn't work. So that wasn't fixed with the update. Well, maybe... Do I even have an SD card in there? Maybe I should test that real quick before making such a bold claim. Because I happen to have one right here. Let's put it in and see what happens. If I can fit that thing in there. Alright, let's see if it comes up. Well, nothing. This external drive on here is not the SD card. That's the... Uh, there's two hard drives in this laptop. Okay, so yet and still, um, the SD card port's not working on this. I was hoping they'd update it and get it working, maybe eventually. So, that's what's new. If you guys know where to find some release notes for this thing, please say so in the comments, because I have no idea how to find out what's changed. Um, I might check this out on the uh, MacBook Air that I currently have Zorin OS on and just see if some of the hardware works better on that thing right now. We'll find out. If you guys notice any other changes in this release, let me know in the comments. And other than that, that's what's going on. So I hope you like the video. Uh, I hope you subscribe to the channel. And please leave comments on things you want me to check on Chrome OS Flex or any other thing technology related. And I'll see what I can do. Until next time, though, thank you for watching. And I sincerely hope you all have a good day. Bye now.